Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug haul. Um, the other day I did a lug unboxing, and this stuff came like literally within 20 or 30 minutes of finishing that video. So I guess if I had waited, <laughs> but anyway, I didn't realize I was getting a late delivery. The UPS has been really screwed up, and I totally understand it just is, but yeah, so <laughs> got some more stuff. Um, first, I already unboxed and unwrapped everything, which is nice, but I have a pen in Bloom Black that came with this order. It's like my uh, fourth one of that, I think, but I love Bloom Black, so that is great. Um, and I love like fun little surprises like that. It's kind of a game now which ones to collect. This item is the Promenade, and this one I got from QVC, and this came actually before the unboxing, but I had it set aside to do with the unboxing, and I totally forgot about it. So I alibied it in the remarks, but I thought, well, that's no fun, you don't get to see it. So here it is, we'll take a look at it. This is, like I said, this is the Promenade in Navy Navy. And that's really all I know about that. Um, but inside you have this front pocket, which is a magnetic snap. And it has that plastic on there, let me take that off. Maybe, ta-da, okay. So plastic snap, but it's, it's a nice roomy pocket. It does have some depth to it there. It is its own space and it has this a little bit of pleat to it. So it's bigger than you would think. It's not a super skinny front pocket, but there's no organization or anything in it. It's just there. But there's your interior pattern. It's a lighter blue with the crosshatch, whatever. And then the little lug written in some of the diamonds like there and there's another one. Yeah, so ta-da. That's a pretty, pretty good magnet snap right there. All right. The bottom, since we're looking at it, is a sparkly blue. It's inside the plastic, so it's very smooth. It's not gonna catch on anything, and you're not gonna get glitter all over your bag or anything like that, but it's just a fun twist versus that plain, boring, milky white plastic that's always there, so it's just kind of a nice twist, actually. Just a little pop of bling on your bag. It's, it's fun. Um, it's not why I got this bag. I liked the size and configuration, but that was just another little bonus thing. But I do like that it has feet. I always like that bag that's going to stand. And you can see the size of the base of the bag. It's a pretty good size bag. Um, all right, so that's the front of the bag. You have, of course, your cell phone pocket, which here's my 6S Plus, and it fits nicely within the pocket, but does not fit standing up completely inside. Um, it, it's fine. I would still use it that way because I like that, you know, it's ready to go and right back in. But it does fit sideways. So it's a wider pocket and you can easily put it sideways completely in there. And you can see the phone actually sits about halfway up. So there's quite a bit of space, but there's your magnetic closure. So a little bit different configuration on this pocket. I found that on all of the different bags that have this pocket, they're all a little bit different. Some are just a little deeper or wider. Yeah, it's all fine. I just like that I have a quick access slip. I love that. And it's fleece lined, which is very nice as well. So, all right, so that's the front. Just really, um, you got your snap lift. You've got a zipper behind that. And in here you have eight, yeah, eight card slots built in on the back wall and nothing on the front wall. So again, you have its, its own space behind there. So that's nice, good. I think this will be great for runway envelopes, maybe. Okay. Yeah, the bigger one, it does fit. It does fit. You just kind of got to put your finger around the edge. I don't want to do it all the way because I'll catch it on the plastic wrapping. But it does fit. Um, for sure, the smaller one will fit, but they're roughly the same height, so. Anyways, that works there, or you can just put other things in there, which is nice. Obviously, you can also put your phone in these pockets as well. They're just not soft lined. On the sides, you have a cargo pocket on both ends. They're both really good size. They're both elastic, and they both have the little magnet to kind of keep it tucked up against the bag when you're not using it. On the back of the bag, it has a trolley sleeve. I do find that kind of funny on some of these, like a medium-sized purse bag. I think it's lovely because it is great travel um, asset to, you know, not have to have it over your shoulder if you're not wanting or needing to. Um, but for me, this is way too small for my second carry-on, so. Um, yeah, but it's nice, it's discreet, you know, kind of just hidden in the back there. 
and just kind of a free flowing. I do think one thing that would make this type of cargo sleeve or a trolley sleeve better is do like on some of the Vera bags, for example, they have a zipper on the bottom so that you can use that as a pocket when you're not using it as a trolley sleeve. And when you want to use it as a trolley sleeve, you just unzip it across and now you got your blow through. So just a thought, but then again, this isn't a super huge bag this direction and you already do have a zipper pocket back here. So they would kind of, kind of share a little bit of space. Even so, you know, it just gives you another slip access pocket. I still would do it. I'd still add that one extra zipper, no big deal. Okay, so let's look at the handles. You have, well, obviously you have a crossbody that is adjustable, removable, and padded. That's nice. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And you can also take the padding off of the straps. You can do that any which way you want. It has two handles to carry you know, over the shoulder. They do have no slip grip all the way around right there. So that's nice and it matches the fabric color so it's not like the black that's just gonna stand out. It's a little more subtle, but still no slip grip all the way around. And it's a reinforced area so it's a really good feel when you grab, it's, it's solid, that's really nice. Um, okay, so let's look inside. Inside we have, well, clear window so look on the back of the bag you have that clear pocket right there and it is pretty good size um, and that's it for that side wait is it Doo -doo -doo. yep that's it for that side on the opposite side you have a cargo pocket it is soft lined so a great place to you know alternate phone or glasses readers sunglasses whatever next to that you have two pen slots which is great and then you have the ring with the built-in keychain, or not built-in, the keychain that comes with it. So you get a nice lug keychain that matches the bag. It's navy. It just has that navy rubber lug and then has a key ring on one end and the quick release hook on the other. The bag side is just a loop and so you can put it right there. So there you go. Um, and the, that's it. That's it for the bag. So just a cargo, two pin slots, the key ring, and then on the other side you have your clear view window. But like I said, this is a good, good size bag. It's not huge. I would still call this medium, actually, compared to my other lug bags, which are more on the large side, which is great. The top zipper is one of those ones that, you know, it doesn't come all the way to a point. It does give you that extra space, so either laterally, you have it zipped, it goes all the way up to the top. You're not losing space, even though it's recessed a little bit. So you get that width of zipper. I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> and you can tuck the end in as well. But I think that's it. That's everything on the bag. So that's the promenade. Promenade, promenade. Yeah. All right. Next item, well, let's just talk. We got the runway envelopes, the two piece set. Um, these ones are pearl gray. Again, it's second round because I made so many orders. Um, and the next item, and this is new to me as well. This is all new to me except the runway envelopes and the pen. Uh, but this is the Wings SE in bloom black. And this would be um, still like on the smaller end of the medium bag spectrum for me because they definitely have a lot smaller bags but so this bag uh, first of all I love the bloom black I mean I do it's like the purples and teals and pinks and greens and whites it's just it looks really nice I just I like it a lot um, it is a magnetic closure the hidden magnets which I really like I mean the snaps are fine but that you know has to find its home these ones just like auto locate <laughs> um, I just think it's so it's great okay I do like that Inside there, you have three clear ID windows. You can put ID cards or pictures or whatever you want. The opening's there. And you got options. Then below that, you have this nice double zipper. And inside there, it's an insulated pocket. So medicine or snacks or like I have these little clear water things. You can put little packets of water in here maybe. Um, but yeah, and I have little ice pack, little baby ones. You just keep something cool. Now, I live in Arizona, so this is very important. 
Not even that things need to be super, super cold, but like maybe just keep your chocolate bar from melting. I don't really carry around chocolate. I'm just saying. <laughs> you got options. But right above that um, pocket right behind it is another straight zipper pocket. And this one is um, just a straight pocket. There's no organization inside of it, but it's plenty big. So a lot of things will fit in there. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah. The big envelope won't fit, but the small one will fit very nicely in there if that's something you're interested in. I didn't get out the wallets, but I am pretty sure the tandem fits in there nicely. For sure the tram, the splits will, I'm not sure about the splits XL. I think they would all fit in there if you wanted. And wait a sec, is this the RFID pocket? I don't know. It, it is actually. Yeah, so I think that is an intentional thing. There's your RFID tag. So anyway, that's really cool. I like having those options. I've never put pictures in my bag, but I actually might consider doing that. It's kind of cool. And then your phone, phone slot right here on the top. So you got your bonk. And this is one of the ones that fits perfectly for my phone. It's the right height and it's a vertical one, not a horizontal, so it's just straight in. I'm just realizing how well my phone case, <laughs> which is my Vera Kiev Paisley Type 1, it actually matches really well with my bag. Ah, better lucky than good. Okay, so that's the front. The back of the bag, you have a single zipper pocket all the way across and all the way down. So it does cover the full back side of the bag. Inside, this is your office pocket, if you will. It has a soft lined pocket back here. So again, your glasses or your alternate phone spot or second phone. You've got two pen slots right next to it. And then the rest is just open space. And the envelopes fit easily and nicely right back there and there's room to spare. So you can put a couple of envelopes if you wanted. I probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got so much to figure out right now that it's almost overwhelming. Okay, so that's front and back. Let's look at the side. So this bag has a snap closure with a cargo pocket right on the end, which is perfect for your water bottles, which I love. I love that it because you don't, it's not there until you need it. And then wham, it's right there. So it's very discreet. I love that. Um, only thing about that is that I'm right-handed, so I carry my bag on this side, but I would want the water in the front. So if I want it in the front, I just have to switch. Anyways, decisions to make. The other choice you have to make, maybe I flip it this way and put the flap on the inside, which probably for higher threat environments is a better idea anyways, but, but it is only on one end, so you kind of have to decide dominant hand, non-dominant hand, front, back. Yeah. Hi, Lucy. I don't know, you can't see her, but you can see the tail. She has bad knees. She can't get up like Kelly does, but how are you doing? I know what you're trying to tell me, but it's not time yet, okay? Anyways, one more item we have. You can hear. I know, baby. Okay, I'm gonna let go. All right, so this is the last item. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Sprout in Heather Gray. And... Does it have more to the name? No, nope, just a sprout. This is very cool backpack. It's a little bigger than the Canter. Um, and we'll do, again, comparisons and stuff later. And there are some out there on YouTube already as well. But All right, so let's just go top to bottom. You have a nice big phone pocket on the top and easily fits the phone. You probably, in this one, could fit, again, remember I said the sort of inconsistency, it's a little wider than some of them. You might be able to fit a small tablet inside there. Um, another time, I have a, maybe we'll mess with that, I have a Amazon Fire tablet that I could try. Anyway, then you have three pockets coming down in front of that. All three of these pockets go all the way to the bottom. So this one is a magnetic closure and a slip and it goes all the way to the bottom. Then the second one is a zipper and it's not just right here, it goes all the way to the bottom. And then the third one is right here, and of course it just goes to the bottom. Now, if you can't put really bulky, really bulky, really bulky, because it, there's just there's a little bit of shared spacing 
between them, but they all are gonna work really great by themselves. They each have a little bit of depth to them of their own. So it's kind of a little bit of sharing. These straps are the handles, you know, the tote type carrying option. The nice strap drop, very roomy, even on Big Girl Plenty. It has the no slip grip on the bottom side and then just the heather on the top and a nice big robust kind of a padded feel to it when you grab it like that. Um, okay, so that's carriage option number one. These handles also come off. So they have this removable thing that you just slide out. Uh, let's see how easy that is. Ooh, it's a little tight, but it comes out pretty easily. So you just unhook that and you can take the straps off completely. So that if you're using it in the backpack mode, for example, or if you just want to carry it around by its top carrying handle, which also is no slip grip. Nice feel for it. You just have options. I like having all these multiple carriage options. And then sliding this back on just goes right back in the loop. Ta -da! What I also like about them is when you're not using them, like if I just want to hold it like this, they lay flat against the bag, which is really nice. Okay, so that's the front of the bag. Let's look at the back. Um, again, the same thing, this handle comes off if you want it to. Um, and then you have your backpack straps. These are nice and padded. They do not have no slip grip, but it is a mesh backing, so that's supposed to increase breathability, which is nice. Um, and it's not mesh on the back here. You do have a trolley sleeve with the Velcro dot to hold it in when you're not using it. And there is a pocket here beneath the straps. So if you're in backpack mode, you can use that pocket. It's a nice, good size slip. It goes all the way down to right about, what do you see, right about there. About halfway between the trolley sleeve and the bottom. And this is where these pack away. So let's put these away real quick. Quick release hooks. So let's see, let's tighten it down, fold it up. Fold it up again. Yeah, I think that's it. So fold it in half, half again, and then just tucks right in straight through. Fold it in half, half again, and tucks right in. So a little bit bulkier than some of the other bags. Part of it's because I just didn't get it all the way straight, came unfolded. Dun, 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 dun. And try that again. There we go, that's better. Okay, so you don't have to fold it completely twice. It does have a little extra room in the bottom, so I'm just gonna stretch that out a bit. But it is a little bulky. I don't know if that's gonna be a factor on your, I don't know, I think it's fine. So they, they do discreetly disappear. If you want to leave this handle on rather than taking it off and use the backpack, I would just make sure that you have this inside when you connect your backpack straps, so that'll be between you and the bag. I don't think that's a problem at all. I think it wouldn't bother you. It wouldn't bother me. It just depends on how quickly you wanna go back and forth from one carriage option to another. Okay, that's it for the front and back. On the sides, you have the standard, really big, generous cargo pockets. On this one, actually, um, it's really interesting. I like, I like it a lot, it's sort of very tastefully done. You have just a plain heather, and then you have this nice, um, brick style, or I don't know what you call that. Just the, the different alternating squares and rectangles on the sides. It just gives it a little different, sort of really classy, sophisticated look to it. And then on the side pockets, um, same thing. You have that quilting on the cargo pockets. It's, a, it's, it's really nice, and I really do like this um, lug heather. It's a nice feel. I just really, really like it. Um, inside pattern, you get a first glimpse of it, is this um, little mini medallions, if you will, on a brown background. But these do not have magnets. Yeah, no magnets. That's okay. I think they hold their own just fine. Okay, that's it for the outside. Let's go inside. Inside, we have three different pockets. The very front one is a single zipper. It opens up, it goes all the way down. It's just one big pocket all the way down. On the front of it, yeah, still just one big pocket. But 
There you go. It is not padded or anything like that. The main compartment, um, actually the zipper comes down nice, good bit, and you can really get inside of here. On the rear, you have a privacy pocket. Goes about halfway down and is only as wide as the zipper, so there's a little extra side space that's unused. And then that is it for that side of the bag. On the front, you have a two-part, because there's a seam down the middle, you have a nice clear ID, or not clear ID, just clear view, two pockets, one zipper. And beneath that, you have two cargos. They're elastic, they are not lined just nylon so that's cool now the bottom it does have in the middle you can kind of see the bottom is got this semi-rigid piece so when you want to actually straighten out the bottom of the bag there you just pop that into place and now it'll hold its position and actually stands on its own once you get that form in place and that obviously opens up the whole bag which is a very roomy bag um, very comparable I think to the size and space of a puddle jumper you know obviously very different but but i like the the compatibility there and then just pop that up the bottom does have plastic and plastic feet which is good protect your bags that are going to be on the ground yeah so that is pretty much the whole look at the sprout um one other note is i'm this is a double zipper um it does have loop right here the ones that you can put a lock to lock together those. So if I'm traveling or if I'm in a high fat area, for sure, I'm locking that. Now there is one more pocket. Remember I said there was three pockets. So you have that narrower one, you have the main compartment, and then you have a rear compartment. And this one is designed for your tech. It is actually padded on the front and padded on the interior back wall. So that is your laptop area. And it will hold a pretty big laptop how big exactly? I don't know. Let's see. She's gonna get run over. Here's my iPad case. I mean, I'm filming on the iPad, but it's the 12.9 iPad Pro, and it easily fits well within there. So, pretty big, pretty big, lots of space. Yeah. So that is it. That's all of the Sprout. Really love this bag. Another great addition to the Love Collection, and more to come. So that's it for this one. Um, as far as the haul goes, now I just wanted to share one other tidbit. Um, and I am curious, so if, if you do this kind of thing, uh, yeah. So the question is, on a scale of zero to retentive, how anal are you? Hmm. I'm pretty anal. So um, this is the, the inventory for the order that just came. So I take, these are my orders coming. <laughs> Yeah, there's still a few. But I find the one that just came, put the rest in here for later. This is how I remember what is on order. So I take the order, I take the sheet, and there's a section in here where I just put those in the binder. So I have all of my lug. If I forget the name, I forget when I bought it, I go to register it, all the info is right there, which is great. And this is how anal I am. I actually built a spreadsheet. And... <laughs> It has the name of the item, which pattern or color it was in, what the order number, the date I bought it, the four digit for registering, and then a yes or no whether I have registered it. So I was catching up on all of that the other day. And then I separately have gone and organized it. Um, so bad. This is what happens when you have a whole lot of time sitting at home during isolation. Um, so I have them just reordered in smaller print, but this is in the order of pattern so by pattern i could say what i have in a given pattern and then i have the same list but organized by style like what the bag name is and then the patterns just go with it so yeah it, it tells me where i got it how much i spent and then at the bottom it totals up the columns so i can see how much i saved <laughs> yeah never mind how much i spent we're not going to talk about that but you gotta spend money to save money yeah <laughs> anyways so that's a glimpse at my crazy and that's it for this one. So I'll see you again soon. Hopefully you're doing well. Don't get to washy washy. Bye for now.